Yo, this is Lincoln and this is my OMG Magazine interview. So, Lincoln, an upcoming artist, very talented, uh, very lyrical, coming all the way from Arima, doing the music a while now, a good while actually, 10, 11, 12 years, I'm around there. I mean, who counting? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, it began uh, with my younger brother. We used to write and think, we in school and stuff, you know, we like the, the lyrics thing, we listening to the set of dance hall and reggae and all them kind of things. So, you know, we vibes and under that vibes. And um, I was encouraged to write a song. I wrote my first song. Thing. people started to like it and thing. Now it was crap, but people were still liking it because they was, you know, they wanted this in the discourage you, right? So um, eventually keeping at it and doing it for fun, eh? and then realizing how serious it could be and the talent that you have, yeah, it's, it just was a, a eye opener to say. And um, then pursuing it more, went and do sound engineering and stuff to try and be in music now and with that I met, I met a lot of people a lot uh, uh, producers artists and thing and people actually taking my own and taking my serious in terms of music everybody starts to take my serious in music and um, I end up forming well not me form the team my good friend uh, Robert Batiste we came together and formed a team Simply Natural Family uh, I came and crashed some years ago, but we, we made a lot of links through that now. Um, he's still my good friend. Um, from then, I met a very talented producer called Trini Baby. Um, and her work ethic was so unique and uh, so inspiring. Uh, a lot of things actually came out from it now. Um, one of my Biggest song so far, single again, Ahsoka, um, was reproduced by her and it, it blew up. People started to like it, I started to get airplay from it and stuff. So it's, it's, now, it's now seen that this could reach so far and you know, just being grateful to be around music and create music and see people react to it. I mean, it's such a wonderful thing. Music coming out from Lincoln, right? Usually people expect a lot of dance or songs from me, right? For the first year, I'm actually gonna do three soca releases. Um, I know it's a lot as a new artist, but it's some wonderful song. Each song has its own category and own vibe to it. Um, we have You Bad 2 is a song coming, produced by Trini Baby also. Um, we have Trouble on the Road, produced by WMG Lab Records, I Wiz Kid. And we also have a, a new project cooking also. Um, we now going home. And that is out of a next level productions with ITLD and um, Trini Baby, Robert Batiste, everybody involved in the project. I mean it's wonderful and it's soca, authentic soca. It's coming. I feel I'll give them a little piece in them. I feel I'll give them a little taste. Yeah. Like you can't go in a dance and get a nice song. Can't get a girl to whine and go down. Cause the DJ playing for one hour long for the whole hour all he playing is youngster song. So the man in the back sat feel like a done. Man in the front feel like a bad man. Even the girl we was up on she head in the dance start act like bad man. Hmm. So no girl walk in a jam. They rather make a set of gun sign with the hand. You might take a chance and whine on a girl but she turn wrong. My man is a bad man. <laughs> <laughs> Look out for it all you. Yeah. I personally um, think that I would be adding to this whole soca arena and stuff a new song, also a new face with a new vibe. So what, what I mean exactly, right? Um, it have a lot of soca artists come out already. It are new ones, it are old ones, and everybody was trying to be something new or, or try something new or try to change soca. My intent is not to change soca because I love soca where it is at present, right? But it has certain things I see in there and stuff, and I honestly feel I could do better. Understand? I mean, it's a competitive race, but 
um, I'm not really in it for the race, obviously. Before they come and try to play on the pass, I'm going to run. They're going to end up a race. But I'm not in it for the race. I just want it for the fun and the joy of it. And I love to see a crowd react. For example, um, Ronnie McIntosh. I saw him perform for the first time when I was around 19. And that man was so inspired when I see he move a crowd with the back turned from the crowd. You understand? And that was so inspiring for me. I like, I want to be something like that. Like, you go up on a stage and when you leave, when people leave the, the event or the fete or whatever, you in the head. You can't come out of the head. You always see this link on whatever, whatever lyrics you bring, whatever style you bring, whatever energy. I'm not trying to be like Marshall. I mean, he's an amazing artist. And I'm not trying to be like Bungie. I want to be Lincoln. I want to speak with me. <laughs> You know, like Lincoln, he has his own thing. Yeah. Um, to be real honest, I think the biggest lesson I learned so far from being around music every life on the whole is that you never stop learning and you have to be willing to change or to adapt. Yeah. Uh, one of my OMG moments, and not that good OMG, like, oh my God. It's more, it's more like, oh my God. <laughs> is um when i know started this thing right now i was real nervous like real nervous i couldn't go on that stage i used to try to i used to try to build up courage to go on that stage but at that time i actually you know pump myself and say hey, i'm going up and sing so it was a competition held by synergy tv i think in um book malaches and i went about three days before and make up a song i went and got it recorded in a fly by night studio and yeah went with my cd and went to perform when i was on stage i forgot my verses so i sang the chorus for the whole beat and that beat was real long when i think about it <laughs> so everybody was just kind of watching you like all right and you just repeating this chorus over and over and over and over and over and over and over until it done when i done i break that cd and pelt it trust me <laughs> that was omg for you eh? I want to thank everyone for viewing my interview. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Lincoln Music underscore TT. And I want to send a special thanks to all the producers, engineers, friends, everyone who helped me in music and helped build the brand Lincoln and make this lyrical genius. Yeah, <laughs> I want to thank everyone: Trini Baby, Robert Eitel, uh, Wiz, Milvitz, everybody, everybody who helped me in my career. Thank you guys so much. <laughs>